Tonight, MDOT coming up with a plan to fight destructive flooding in an area prone for trouble. This is a look at I-94 on Detroit's east side with a history of causing headaches after a bad rain spell. People living in the area also fed up with their homes flooding. Well, tonight, 7 News Detroit reporter Ruta Olsenaida takes a look at MDOT's plan and how it will impact drivers and homeowners in the area. Well, I've seen it, you've seen it. When the rain comes down heavy on Detroit's east side, I-94 here near Barrett is one of the first places to flood. Well, now MDOT is trying to do something about it. It's pretty bad. Those days, when it's that bad, I sometimes call off work because I don't like risking my vehicle just for a day's pay. John Tay Withers has lived near I-94 for three years now. He says when it rains, it pours and it floods. Our basement, it floods, but not as bad as like some of the other, some of the neighbors over here that I've been hearing horror stories where they got to like, like pretty much replace everything. If you remember in 2021, we saw major flooding on the interstate all across Detroit and the surrounding cities. Cars underwater, basements flooded. Attorney Paul Doherty represents hundreds of clients from Detroit to Gross Point Woods that were affected, his home in the area not spared either. So you have people that were affected from um, all strata of society, all races, all religions. Um, that water didn't discriminate. It was an equal opportunity destroyer. Those lawsuits are in the appeals process, but he says any infrastructure advancements that could help tame some of this flooding would help. We do remain optimistic that we'll be able to uh, build this tunnel uh, which would really just be a tremendous benefit for people on the east side. MDOT is proposing a drainage tunnel on the city's east side right under I-94 to help accommodate heavier storm events and provide additional storage for stormwater. The about $170 million project in partnership with GLEWA or the Great Lakes Water Authority, Eagle and others, it would potentially reduce I-94 flooding by 82 percent. It would collect and discharge the water to local pumping and sewer systems. Residents just hope those systems are up for the task. Ultimately the water is going from MDOT's freeway to Gliwa's pump stations. Gliwa's got to come forward and show the citizens of the entire east side of, you know, the region that they're able to deal with this. During construction, drivers like John Tay would have to find detours instead of taking 94, but say hopefully it would all be worth it in the end. The plan is still in the proposal phase, but MDOT is hoping for approval within 12 to 16 months. After that, the project would take about two years to complete. On the city's east side, I'm Rudolph Sinaita, 7 News, Detroit.